Continuing on from the last tutorial, I've run into a situation where I'd like to install some software to my Mac that's not available on the Apple App Store, in this case, Skype. Now you might imagine that I could just go to the Skype website, download the Skype app, and install it on my Mac. But about halfway through that process, I'd run into an error saying that that app could not be installed on my Mac. Now I'd like to demonstrate how to prevent that error from coming up or how to fix it if it already has. To fix this problem, I need to go to the system preferences. The quickest way for me to get to system preferences is to click on the apple in the top left part of my screen and hit system preferences. From there, I'm going to click on security and privacy. Once security and privacy has been pulled up, I can see allow apps downloaded from and three different options. However, all of these options are grayed out. To access or change these options, I need to click this lock in the lower left hand corner. Once I click the lock, I will be prompted for my administrative password. Once I enter it, the three options will become available and I can choose to allow apps only from the App Store, apps from the App Store and identified developers, or anywhere. In this case, I'm going to choose anywhere. Upon choosing this option, my operating system is going to warn me that I'm making my computer less secure. And it's absolutely right. When I'm allowing my computer to install software from anywhere, it means anywhere. I could end up accidentally installing malware, viruses, or other undesirable software. So be sure you're 1000% aware of the software you're installing and where it's coming from before you proceed. For now, I am going to confirm that I'd like to install software from anywhere. I'm going to click the lock to lock it in place and close system preferences. Now I can install software from the internet. So please join me for our next tutorial where I demonstrate installing the Skype application by downloading it from skype.com.